everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. Today we're going to be doing a pressure check, uh, a compression check on this motor. We know it's good, but I just want to show you how to do it, and I don't know what it comes up at. Uh, one of the common problems that we have with these units is when we've replaced all the parts trying to get something that's non-running to, to a running state, we, we've replaced everything and it just won't start. And when we get to that point, we want to check the compression. And to check the compression on one of these units, uh, you need a compression checker. You can get one of these for like $30 or cheaper on Amazon or at the auto parts store. Uh, they come with adapters for you to plug in so that you can uh, uh, check the compression. So what you want to do is you're going to take off your spark plug boot and you're going to pull out your spark plug. It's also, if you haven't changed your spark plug yet, that's something you want to do if you've got a non-starting machine. So once you got your plug out, you want to put in your compression checker and you, all you do is screw it right in where the spark plug was. And mine is always a little tricky. It acts like it wants to uh, cross thread. So you got to be careful. That's the last thing I'm going to do is cross thread one of these because you, you'll have a hard time getting your spark plug back in. So once you've got it nice and tight, make sure your compression checker is set at zero, which this one is. Um, I don't know if you could see that here. Okay, so what we're looking for on the compression checker is we want to we would like to see 120. Uh, these units will run, uh, I've had them run at 90 PSI, but ideally when, when they're put together, they run at 120. So 90 and higher is good. Anything below that, the unit's probably not going to start. And if it does, it's not going to stay running. So let's give this a couple pulls and see where we end up. Because I'm pretty sure this one is good. So a couple pulls and we are sitting at, this one's at 80. Let's keep going. All right, we got up to, looks about 100, 105. Uh, so, and I know this unit runs, so this isn't great. It may have a little bit of leak, a leak in the, uh, in the piston, but it's still running and it runs strong. Let's give me a little bit more out of that. Oh yeah. We're at 115. This is this is pretty good. So if you're wondering what happens when you're when you're below 90, something that's going on is you'll have something like this. This is a motor for one of these. This one failed. You can see the piston ring or the piston ring is off. It probably shattered. The piston itself missing a large chunk. Obviously, this is going to be a non-running unit, uh, and we've just used it for parts. Um, but we've got several like this and you can replace the piston You can replace the piston ring you may or something like this you probably want to replace the block also, but at that point You've spent enough money where you, you probably just need to get a new unit and this one is scrap If you don't have a bunch of these there's not much you can do with this as far as parts You just need to start over if you get to this point when you're using it as a consumer you really run it hard we run these all day long, five days a week, and they do a lot of work before something like this happens. I don't know how old this unit was, but we've got, like I said, we've got several like this. Oh, nice. Another scam call. Okay, so that pretty much summarizes how do you check the compression and see if your motor's any good. Like I was saying, if you're just a, a consumer, you got one of these, you use them around the house. If you get to, if your compression goes below 90, uh, unit's pretty much garbage. There's not much you can do with it. You could probably sell it on Craigslist for about a hundred bucks because they're worth that in parts. Uh, replacing all the internals, like the piston, the piston ring, the block, anything like that, just get you over uh, in price uh, of, of the value of these. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, uh, give us a like, and hey, subscribe to us and so you can see more of this wonderful, great content. Thanks for watching.